Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss what is the Carnot theorem, and I will also give a small proof how we can prove or how we can actually understand what this theorem actually means. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so what is Carnot theorem actually? Uh, now here you can see the statement of Carnot theorem. All heat engines working between the same temperatures. The reversible Carnot engine has the maximum efficiency. Okay, that means if we want to mathematically write this, it is saying just that the eta i, right, irreversible, the efficiency of irreversible, it is always less than eta capital R. That means reversible. How it is happening, let us understand in this video. Okay, so to prove this, we will just uh, use a mathematical trick very easy. We will just first consider that eta i is greater than eta i. Then, if we anyhow can prove or can uh, show that uh, for this thing, for this thing, any fundamental thing of thermodynamics or any other relation which is already proved is not obeying or that is violated for, for assuming this thing, then we can easily say that this thing is not true and the reverse thing that is this thing is true so our purpose will be fulfilled so let's begin now let us consider we have uh, two heat reservoirs uh, t1 and t2 okay uh, where t1 is at higher temperature and t2 is at lower temperature okay and uh, we have uh, two heat engines okay reversible uh, one engine is reversible and another engine is irreversible and so if we consider eta i is greater than eta r then what happens according to the definition of uh, eta we know that this is w divided by w1 divided by q1 we, uh, is greater than w2 divided by q1 dash right now we will consider case that uh, the amount of amount of work done by this uh, irreversible engine right it is extracting q1 amount of heat from the higher temperature reservoir and qt amount of heat is rejected to the lower temperature reservoir by this engine and so in this process the amount of work done by this uh, irreversible engine that is you know, w is given to this to this reversible engine but to work in reversely that means this work done by this irreversible engine is given to the reversible engine to extract q2 dash amount of heat from the lower temperature reservoir and q1 amount of heat to the higher temperature reservoir okay so it is working reversely so uh, as this work done is given to this that means this w1 and w2 is exactly same okay so and that is uh, yes that is this w will be equals to q1 minus q2 which is also equals to q1 dash minus q2 dash right now so from here summarizing these things i can easily write that as w is equals to w so uh, q1 dash must be greater than q1 right now we'll if we consider the composite system of this thing then what happens composite system will look like what uh, the composite system will look like this where it is what q2 amount of it and it is q2 amount it is rejected right so the composite engine will just sum up these two things that means q2 dash minus q2 right this minus this this amount of heat is extracting it is extracting from the t2 and q1 dash minus q1 q1 dash minus q1 this amount of uh, sorry minus q1 this amount of heat is rejecting to the higher temperature reservoir now let us understand what is this thing q2 dash minus q2 if we put from here the value of q2 dash then what happens uh, Q plus will be equals to Q1 dash minus 
q1 minus q2 right this thing and minus this thing minus q2 so what will happen this thing this thing will be cancelled out this will be just equals to q1 dash minus q1 so this is equals to q1 dash minus q1 that means what this system or engine is doing without any given input there is no given input but without any given input this heat engine is working like a self acting engine and which is doing what which is extracting heat from a lower temperature reservoir t2 and giving heat to the up higher temperature reservoir t1 which is completely forbidden or completely violating the uh, Clausius statement of second law of thermodynamics now you, if you don't know what is the Clausius statement of second law of thermodynamics i have made a separate video uh, and the link of the video i will give in the description box uh, where, I have, where I have discussed the equivalence of Kelvin Planck and Clausius statement of second law of thermodynamics. You can watch that. Now, it is completely violating, right? It is completely violating this fundamental statement of second law of thermodynamics. That means it is actually violating the second law of thermodynamics, actually. So, which is not true, right? The second law of thermodynamics cannot be false. So, our assumption that eta i is greater than eta r it is wrong so what will be the correct assumption the correct assumption will be eta i is always less than eta r that means our carnot theorem that means all heat engines working between the same temperatures the reversible one the reversible carnot engine has the maximum efficiency among all these so it is all about today's video i think that you have understood what the carnot theorem of means actually yeah okay and uh, how to prove this thing uh, so to get the notifications of my upcoming videos you can subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so take care of yourself thanks for watching